Welcome back to Video Morning. It's Katie Haas, my special guest T. Graham Brown, and another one, Mark O'Connor, has yes. joined us from the new Nashville Cat. All right, how are you? We're doing great, and boy, are you hot these days with the song Restless. Well, is that just screaming? Yes, it was pretty fun to do, and uh, I'm, I'm really glad it translated across on the air like that. Yes. I mean, we, we had a good time recording the song, and the video was even fun to do. With know? Ricky Skaggs, Vince Gill, and Steve Warner. And this next video, the occasion of your appearance today, is here for Mark Lemire. He this is Forrest, Mark's son, right? How old is Forrest? <laughs> How old are you? How old are, are you? Are three? Is he jamming on the guitar? <laughs> he is getting down over there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Forrest makes an appearance in the new video. Right. And, uh, and he, he, he plays a little tiny fiddle in it. He's got a 16th size fiddle. And, uh... Does he really play it? It's a real legitimate fiddle? I mean, does it really work? Yeah. Oh, good. He got it when he was one. Oh, boy. So Man. He has a little bit of a head start on me. Hey, you know, <laughs> like, something funny. Um, see, he's a musician's musician, as they say. Has been for years. And I can't play anything. I'm just a singer. Oh. And um, it's so funny. I was in uh, San Francisco, and I picked up this magazine, and it had a review of Restless, and it was a review of the video and it was naming everybody and it left out Steve Warner's name and put my name in there. It's oh, a, oh my it's God. Like playing, I was thinking, boy, what, a, what the ultimate insult. <laughs> oh, <laughs> to have me lifted as a picker on, uh, this, guy, oh, on this guy's video. It's well, funny. It's amazing, but I don't think that Mark has ever played on any of your records. Now, has he? It'd be, it would no. be one of the few in Nashville. I've never, I've never had a fiddle on any of my stuff. You like the yeah. sax and the harmonica. Which, uh, I've never had a harmonica on it. Never had a harmonica? Wow, mm -hmm. gosh. That's such a bluesy instrument, I thought, for sure. No, never have even done that. Well, Mark has been on a lot of albums, no doubt. Oh, without a doubt. How is it, how is it man, having a... being a... in front of the stage, out front? That's different for you, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I, after backing up so many people over the last six or seven years in the studios and everything, it is really different, and... Uh, and I'm really enjoying it because I love to play music and like to play my fiddle. And I would like to play for audiences in person. And um, I, it got to be where I was in the studio 12 hours a day. And, uh, and I just kind of, you know, lost that uh, personal feeling with the, with the audience, with people listening to me play. Mm -hmm. And uh, felt like, you know, a little bit removed. And from the communication, and mm -hmm. even though I knew I was, you know, being heard on record all over, I was sort of like a, a you know, faceless person, you know, with just music. Maybe, you know, and this this is really enjoyable for me. This new Nashville Cats has given me a lot of opportunity. Do you ever play uh, guitar still on people's albums? Well, you know, Nashville being the the town with, uh, what, 1,300 guitar pickers, like they say in the National Cats song. That song, yeah. Uh, um, since there wasn't as many fiddle players, they said, oh, Mark, why don't you play fiddle? We've got plenty of guitar <laughs> players around. You play, do you play guitar in your live show? Mm-hmm. And I play a little mandolin. Oh, yeah. Anything with a string on it, I bet. I bet. But I try. <laughs> this, uh, this new song, did I heard that Steve Warner wrote that. Now it belongs to you. Yes. Uh, Great Steve song. Warner wrote it specially for this album, and uh, and it's I think he's really you know penned a classic. And uh, we talked about the subject matter about um, wouldn't it be nice if there was a song about grandfather passing down his fiddle through the generations, which happens a lot. And, uh, and the fiddle can be symbolic for really anything, and a lot of people can relate to the words of the song. And, and it's a beautiful video, too. The technique yeah. is something new that I'd, I'd not seen on this show with any other video. So it's kind of like it's on fire. It's blazing. Yes. It's really beautiful. And it's, it was shot at uh, a local farm here outside of Nashville. And uh, the, the director and the cinema photographer, they're both uh, in California. And the director originally was from Argentina. And uh, his, the images that he sees when he thinks of rural America are blossoming in this video. Oh, it's boy. really beautiful. we got to check it out. And, of course, watch for your son, Forrest. Mark yeah. O'Connor's son will be here. And now it's called Now It Belongs to You. It's the new Nashville Cats. My grandpa 
made this bill with his two hard working hands, and they say he really made the music flow. And he even took his old fiddle off to war with you, and they both came back. Don't you know? It was cold December when he passed away. They say he smiled at my dad and they heard him say, Take care of my fiddle, son, cause it's yours from now on. Keep it in the family after you and I are Play every song just like you're playing days are through. Just take good care of my fiddle, son. Now it belongs to you. got the awful news and I swear that I can hear him say take care of my fiddle son cause it's yours from now on give it to that boy of yours when you and I are gone play every song just like you play Take good care of my fiddle, son. Now it belongs to you. Now I'm so proud to get the chance to see my little boy as he tries his best to play my violin. Now it belongs to you. Just take good care of my fiddle, son. Now it belongs to you. Boy, it's a nice piece of work there. It is very nice, very nice. It's Mark O'Connor, and Steve Warner wrote the song and also performed it, and it's a, just a real nice video. Is that you in there for us in the video? What's the name of the song? Now it belongs to you. And who, who sang it? Huh? Who sings it? <laughs> Stevie? Steve. Steve. Steve Warner. And who plays fiddle? <laughs> <laughs> Hats off to Dad. <laughs> All right. There he is. Listen, I tell you what, we're going to come back, talk a little bit more with Mark O'Connor and his son, and show you some more videos. Stay with us. We'll be right back. With Mark O'Connor, T. Graham Brown, and Katie House here, and we're glad to have you this morning. I'll tell you, your album, The New Nashville Cats, is, is really hot, and I'm real pleased to hear that you're going to do another video real soon. Yeah, well, um, they decided to 
after now it belongs to you to, to try an instrumental in, in, you know, in country radio and, of course, video. That's unusual. What, what well, is, I yeah. was going to ask you, I wonder when the last time has been an instrumental hit. Floyd Kramer's last Floyd Kramer is about 12, was, 12 years well, ago. Well, now, the Bayou really? City Beats had the Cotton Eye Joe, and that was a country hit. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah but I mean, that wasn't a huge, like, last well, day. Well, <laughs> that's right. It yeah. wasn't a one. And last day, it was like 62 See, he wants, or he something. He wants one. <laughs> yeah. I don't well, know. It's just amazing to be able to, to you know, to, to have it played and, oh, yeah. you know, play on uh, TV well, it's like just that. undeniably good, man. Well, yeah. what about American Music Shop, Mark? This is one of the most incredible shows on TNN. And, and what a as, band. As far as, man, what I a got, band, what I a band. I got to sing with, with my hero, Delbert McClinton, yeah. who's my all-time singing I bet. hero. Yeah, I can see why. I got to sing with him, and man, what a killer band. Yeah. I wish I could, oh, that a just makes you viewers... want to do that all the time. I mean, I got a great, great band. The Hard Tops? They changed their name back to the Mighty Rack of Spam. Oh, no. But uh, the American <laughs> Music Shop guys, boy, they're just... Well, Brian O'Neill and Rusty Wilcoxon uh, from TNN, they, they uh, had this concept of the show mm -hmm. where our, um, they asked me if I could put together a band of great studio musicians, the, the guys that play on the records, but um, have them so versatile to cover any type of music, like from Earl Scruggs to Delbert McClinton. Yeah and everything in between and uh it's been so rewarding it's oh. on every saturday night mm -hmm. and i think they repeat it on thursday nights and uh we've we've had a lot of neat music oh gosh there. carlin carter just some great people Everybody. stopping by and you play with all of them it's just really it's excellent that we get the exposure to you and in this great format i think it's super Tell you what, we're going to do another video, of course, the uh, debut yes. from Mark O'Connor. The one is so hot. I want to get, hey, is Forrest still around? I'm get <laughs> there he is. There he is, I'm way down there. I'm going to get him to throw some papers. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll get that done. Restless, here's Mark O'Connor and Thanks. friends. I said, give me a ticket, please. She said, where to, mister? I said, that's all right with me, cause I'm restless. I need to get out of this town. Take me where the living's easy. Baby, that's where I'll be found. Well, honey, tell that driver to put his big foot on the gas and run this old great off just as long as it might last.
right, I didn't right. know. Boy, is that fun. I tell you what, Mark yeah. O'Connor, in case anybody out there might identify with this, played with the Dixie Dregs. Well, great, hot, superb jazz, I guess is what they were called. But, I mean, they were just, they did country stuff, though. Yeah, we did country uh, instruments. The hold down and stuff like that that they used to do, one of my favorite songs. And uh, this song reminds me of those Dixie Dregs days. They're now them? gone and broken up. Early 80s, right before I moved to Nashville, I uh, did a year and a half. Oh, them, David Askey was gone by then, wasn't he? Yeah, so he, he was the earlier member. He used to be yeah, in my but, band also. Oh, yeah. yeah. Steve Morris was in there, of course, and he's been recognized yeah. worldwide for his guitar ability. Incredible guitar. Yeah, he is Boy. great. I've seen him five times around here, but... And he's a good pilot, too. Oh, and is he? You know, he always comes in handy. He flies himself to the gig. When people ask me about the Vince and Ricky and Steve playing guitar on this record, Restless, you know, when, when you really add it up, I mean, they are in the top five or six country guitarists in the world. No doubt. And uh, they just happen to be country superstars. No. <laughs> Boy. It's just, it's overwhelming. Get them all. I'll tell you, what, we've got some dates for Mark O'Connor and the new Nashville Cats that we're going to show you now where you can see them very soon. Well, the end of July, anyway. Man, he's working. <laughs> They're going to New York there. Columbus. Yeah. Well, I love playing in Santa Fe. That's a beautiful place, isn't it? Oh, Boy, yeah. It Boy, you can breathe there real nice, too. Around here, it's so humid. Eight. But those are some great dates. Ohio, Kentucky, D.C. So are you gigging this heavy all the time now? Yeah, I just started, you know, got a, an, a, an agency and everything now. So I, I retired from session work. Wow. And I'm touring, you know, and uh, promoting my album. And, uh, and I, I would like to do this. Doing the bus thing and everything? Do this forever. Well, you ought to be able yeah. to come up with more uh, albums. I mean, you're going to put together more and probably use some of the same people. And gosh, you can go forever, and we hope you do. Well, thank you. Some good stuff. That Need lock truck stop me. food. <laughs> <laughs> well, on the road. The glamorous part you of it. You guys are gonna talk about road kills next, eh? <laughs> yeah. You know, I, 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 <laughs> I went it. out of Charleston, West Virginia, the other day, and they had one of those roadkill cookbooks in the oh, airport. They did. Lovely. Nasty looking. Oh, well, there's the uh, Mark O'Connor Fan Club, uh, seven nine five seven Nita Avenue, and is that Canoga Park? California? Yes. Very good. 913. Or you can call and get some newsletters, I imagine, and for some more information on where he's going to be. Our special guest this morning, Mark O'Connor, and your son for us. We appreciate you coming. Wherever around. he is, he's, he's around, around here somewhere. Thank you. Look. <laughs> very rarely do we get a hand. Very rarely do we have an audience. But <laughs> See you, Forrest. All Thanks, right. Forrest. Thanks, Video buddy. morning continues. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs>